Hi, Wheel of a Silk Insiders. This is Bryn from the Clothing Directors team again. I am back with hanging things on the hangers. So there's a different video talking about different kinds of hangers and tips and tricks on that. But um, right now we're gonna talk about hanging things on hangers. So I have a couple of pairs of different kinds of shorts here and a couple of pants hangers. So first of all, when you're hanging your items, regardless of what they are, they are going to sell much better if you button the buttons snap the snaps, zipper the zippers, so that they look as nice as possible. Um, so pair of pants. So the easiest pants hanger solution is a pants hanger itself. Okay, clip them on, you tag it, you're good to go. Um, and there's a couple different styles of pants hangers here. Now, um, if you don't have pants hangers, your options are to somehow get it attached to an actual shirt hanger somehow. Um, so there are people who are of the tagging gun school of thought and people who are of the safety pin school of thought. Um, some of you have tagging guns, some of you don't. Here's one thing that we'll talk about safety pins. Okay, so either way, if you put the tagging gun needle or the safety pin through the garment, you're going to make a hole in the garment. So we try to do that as minimally as possible. So whether it's safety pins or tagging guns, you want to think about not damaging the item while you're doing it. So um, belt loops on this pair of shorts, um, here, <laughs> on this pair of shorts, there are belt loops at the hips. Those are fantastic because they're the end of the item. So you can put a safety pin on each and safety pin it to the what to the hanger and it'll keep it taut. Some pants, however, don't have those, so we'll go to into those in a minute. But for now, because I don't want to put holes through the garment, I'm actually gonna use the um shorts loops. So I'm gonna take a safety pin. You can see safety pins come in all different sizes. I'm going to take a pretty big safety pin and I'll tell you why is because I have a plastic hanger here and in order for it to close on the plastic hanger I need it to be a bigger safety pin. So I'm not actually puncturing the clothing I'm just putting it through the, the um, belt loop. Notice that I attached it to the top of the bar. I didn't put it on the bottom. If you put it on the bottom, it's gonna shake left or right. Here, it's pretty stable. It won't end up on the floor. So this works well. Now, the reason I used the big loop safety pin versus the tiny one. Can I get a tiny one through the belt loop? Sure, I can, and I can even close it. Can I get it through the bar without distorting the pin and reshaping it and having it barely hang on? No. So these tiny ones aren't a good idea. However, if you only have tiny and medium safety pins, one workaround would be to put the safety pin on the belt loop and close it and then use um, a safety pin that's large enough to go around and close on the hanger. This one is pushing it. I don't know if you can see it, but it's actually bowing out the safety pin. And when it's doing that, eventually it's going to stretch with a little bit of tugging. It may open up. Um, so you might want to use a wire hanger. But if you only have tiny safety pins, one thing you can do is close it on the belt loop and then put the safety pin through. I'm trying to make sure you can see that. Put the safety pin through the loop on the bottom of the other safety pin and then hang it. It's a workaround. Um, one safety pin is better, but that is a workaround. If you only have tiny safety pins, if they're stretched out, it's not going to stay. So that's one thing to keep in mind. But again, you're going to hang it through the belt loop if there are ones on the hips, through the top part of the hanger, and then it will stay on the hanger. Okay, so those are shorts with belt loops. Now, we are going to look at a pair of shorts that doesn't have belt loops. So this is a pair of um, just, I think they're Jimbery shorts that my son had. No belt loops in sight. <laughs> Ideally, I'd have a pants hanger, but if I don't have a pants hanger, I try to only put the pins through on the clothing, like the seam allowance or something that it's not going to be super obvious on it. Um, 
So you can put the clothing pin through the back. Um, you can also work it through the seam allowance. Um, you're just trying to go for something that won't make um, any more damage to the clothing than at all possible. And when I'm done pinning it, I'm gonna put it on the top of the hanger bar. Okay, so those are some pants tricks. Now, outfits. So this is from something that my daughter wore. So it's a two piece set. So it's a tank top and shorts. So if I have any of the outfit hangers, this is an infant size one, but this kind of style, then I can clip the shorts on the bottom, the shirt on the top, and those can go like that. Another option, if you have a loop hanger, would be the shorts on the bottom, a shirt hanger for the top, and that could go from there. One other idea you can use is if you have a set, the pants are the hardest part to hang. So you can put the pants on a pants hanger and then for your shirt, use the same pants hanger and drop the shirt on it. So if my cameraman is catching this, so I have the tank top and the shorts on one hanger and it's the pants hanger that I'm using, not a shirt hanger. So that is one idea for a set. You do wanna make sure that the tank is not going to fall off. If you were concerned that the tank is gonna fall off, instead of doing it there, so keep in mind this is a bigger kid item, you could put the tank suspended from the shorts itself, okay? But please keep in mind, if you're doing it this way, all of the fabric is held by the clip on these pants hangers. So you need to make sure that it's tight and that you can shake and it's not gonna go anywhere, okay? So if it was gonna stay on the hanger, hanger bar is better. But if the if the neck opening is too wide where you think it's gonna drop off, you can also hang it like that. So that is an outfit to show you an example. Now, um, Shirts I think you guys have. I'm gonna do another video about a, like a multi-piece set um, here in just a minute.